moving day. I've had the borers out in this section for the last week because the rain that came destroyed their normal shelter. So I just put them back in their shelter temporarily and moved this fence over so that the sow and the babies could come out. Their shelter didn't get as damaged from the rain, so they were able to stay in this week. See, they still have a whole dry half, and then they have their little wallow right here, and then it's kind of pretty muddy back there. But this side is dry at least. But the boars were a different story. Theirs turned into a complete mud pit, so we had to keep them out. So what I'm going to do is tie in right here with another electric net fence and go that way with it and wrap along that ridge around that walnut back to here so they'll have all that area to go in that way the mom and baby can explore this area all they want as you can see the babies love to explore they are covered in mud intentionally they, they like to play with it american guinea hogs definitely have a lot more rooting hormone or habit or behavior I don't know what, what causes them to do so much more rooting than my coonies, but the American guinea hog mixed with coonie is a pretty muddy situation. Mama, you so sweet. Those babies are just all over you. So the coonies definitely do need a wallow. They they need to roll in mud to cool off and and to be parasite resistant. <laughs> And then, for the most part, they like to just lay around and be cute little babies. Aren't they adorable? And then they graze in pasture, so they're really good. They don't make it a gross, muddy mess. I, I really like the Cooney breed a lot. Definitely huge advantages. And then we have all of this pasture that we want them to graze on, so... We just need to get them moved up here. And that's all for them to eat. Yes, Lashes. They get to eat all that. Lashes and Friendship have all of that. And all the woods back there. Right, Ryan? That's right. <laughs> Ryan, what did I say about Friendship a little while ago? What are you thinking about? Um, you think this possibility that she might have a baby um i think it's been too long since we've got them but well did you do the math no <laughs> do the math middle of october is that last possible date i think we're in the window and i think she looks a little bit poofy today uh we'll see all of her other herd mates at the old farm are having babies right now and they were in with the same bowl she doesn't seem pregnant to she me. doesn't but she hasn't had a heat cycle either time will tell and once again a project that should have taken one hour to complete is taking three hours to complete because you know working with a baby is not as easy as it looks on camera Odin decided that he was gonna be a little piglet were you a little piglet he got into the wallow we had to take his pants off and dunk him in a bucket of clean water. He was in the wallow. Are you a piglet? Huh? You a piglet, baby? Kind of sounds like one. He just wants to play with these pigs. I had to bring him back on this side of the fence. Don't worry, the fence isn't on. While we're working out here, got the fence off. So nobody will get electrocuted. That doesn't mean that they're not going to play in the wallow, though. Alright, so you want to stand here and guard this space so that they don't try to come this way. You got a baby on your head, so... What are you, you just going to do that? Yeah. Alright. Please go the right direction. Please go. 
Let's go the way I want you to. Yikes, that wasn't as easy as I was hoping. But we got them a new grass filled area for them to browse, so they should be super happy now. And they have the biggest swallow to go play in when they need to. <laughs> Daddy, how do you do that? Do what? Wrestle pigs and put a baby to sleep. It's just, it's just a natural part of life. <laughs> Sweet baby. Look at him gripping on the daddy shirt. Sure. Alright, the electricity is now plugged back in. We've got it connecting here. Plugged across and connected to both of these fences here. So that it'll work for this section and this section. To keep the sow on her side and the boars on that side. Hopefully. We will find out soon if there's any weaknesses in our fence um, or if the electricity is too spread out over too much fencing, but I don't think it is. I think that this charger should be able to hold these three electric net fences that we have hooked to it. Hello, babies. You think I got apples, don't you? You're looking for a handout, aren't you? I'm just coming to check on your water. Good babies. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Yes. That's so true. So true. I know, I know, I know. <laughs>